Hello everybody, who's pumped for Shang-Chi? Yeah, all right, yeah. Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings. If you couldn't tell, I watched that trailer and decided to draw this, yeah. So I, yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I watched the trailer, I started working on this drawing. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so by the time you're watching this, the trailer is already old news, but yeah, hopefully you watched it and you're looking forward to the movie. It's, it's looking, it's looking awesome. Yeah, uh, just short, uh, yeah, so I did use the reference image for the, gig, for the gigantic feet to turn it, convert it into Fin Fang Foom. Yeah, so last year, sometime last year, there was a whole bunch of rumors dropping for Shang-Chi movie saying they're going to have mutants show up in the tournament and they're going to have Fin Fang Foom show up in the end. So if you don't know, that's a dragon, but... A lot of these rumors have turned out to be false, especially if you if you checked out all the videos on WandaVision. So many so many <laughs> rumors and theories, they're all turned out to be false. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I decided to turn Fin Fang Foom into a giant test. I mean in the comics he is male, but I think he's male, yeah. But it's fan fiction. It's my fan fiction. I can make it whatever I want, right? So, in my fan fiction, Fin Fang Foom is female. She's a dragoness giantess, all right? Yeah. And, of course, obviously, this is Shang-Chi, the guy who's running away so he doesn't get stomped. He doesn't get stepped on by uh, Fin Fang Foom. Yeah, so it's similar to the Captain America one, obviously. Since I used the gigantic reference image, all I did was just merge the five toes into three toes because Fin Fang Foom only has three toes. All right. Yeah. And Shang-Chi, I decided to go with a more like somewhere in the middle where it's not the original costume, but it's not the newest costume. It's like somewhere. In, yeah. It's, it's more modern, but it's not the most up to date one. Yeah. So if you don't know, I mean, you just watch the trailer and you'll know most of it, right? He, he's raised as an assassin and he decides to become good, obviously. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so originally in the comics, he, he was created as the son of Fu Manchu and Marvel no longer has the rights to it, to that character anymore. But also he's a, he's a racial stereotype. So... They probably wouldn't want to use him anyway, even if they did own the rights. So instead, he's going to be the son of Mandarin. So, yeah, Tony Leung, he's going to be Mandarin. Also, Shang-Chi is played by Sima Liu, the guy who, who was in Kim's Convenience, Jung. Yeah, I meant I might have mentioned a few times that I was watching that, finished it. It's amazing, super funny, hilarious. All right, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, so so Mandarin is going to be the dad, and it's going to be the real Mandarin this time, not that phony baloney Mandarin in Iron Man 3. All right. Yeah, so that was a bad Mandarin, so this is going to be the real Mandarin, so hopefully Marvel can redeem themselves and do a really good Mandarin this time. All right. And in the trailer, you see, there's like, there's some scenes with Mandarin wearing like, you know, a uh, more ancient outfit, more older outfit, uh, and clearly like ancient warriors and even like fantasy creatures, like giant, giant creatures. They're like fighting a war and stuff. So that's probably going to be in the past with Mandarin waging wars. And then the modern, all the modern scenes is going to be with the tournament and Shang-Chi is fighting in the tournament there was rumors about mutants showing up in the tournament i hope it's true but i'm not gonna hold my breath all right and the plan is to turn shang chi into other martial artists as well and make another video of that eventually all right thank you for watching bye bye